How's it going everybody and welcome back to the smoking section. I'm Sean and tonight I'm going to be bringing on a brand new cigar to myself. Uh, I'm really really excited about bringing this cigar on. Uh, I have already smoked this one. It is absolutely probably one of my favorites out of the four that she has out right now. Um, but nevertheless I am going to just do a quick little shout out because I would not even be sitting here with this, with these cigars, or any of the things that I have in front of me without these guys. So let me go ahead and give them a quick little shout out. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Ice and Sticks for doing the giveaway in which I wound up winning these awesome, beautiful cigars. Um, really, really awesome Instagram page. If you want to follow them, follow them on Ice and Sticks. Um, there will be a link in the description. Uh, not only that, but Clutch of Smoke as well. Uh, really, really awesome groups, all of them. They're awesome, awesome guys. Um, thank you, Clutch of Smoke, for, for helping out with the giveaway. And then, last but not least, Southern Outlaws, Outlaws, and Cigars. Thank you guys so, so much for doing the giveaway. And I am just so thankful to have you guys, uh, to let me follow you guys and, you know, just be a part of your Instagram uh, family. I, I really can't thank you guys enough for everything and giving me the opportunity to win this awesome, awesome prize pack. But tonight, it's not just about them. Tonight, it's about a beautiful cigar that I cannot wait to bring on. And it is by Bella Dama Cigars. And Bella Dama, I've seen uh, a lot of her cigars on Instagram. Uh, never thought that I'd get the chance to actually try one of them. But tonight we are going to be smoking the Royal by Bella Dama Cigars. Now there are four other cigars. Um, this is the one that we're going to be smoking tonight. That is the Royal. The other one that she has is the Flush, which I don't have with me today. But I do have the Queen, which is a beautiful, beautiful barber pole. I am going to be reading a description of the Royal um, right after I introduce all these. But if you want to check out more of these, uh, there will be a link in the description to Belladama Cigars as well to check out and see if you guys, too, would like to give these beautiful, awesome cigars a try. So this is the Queen right here. And then finally, what's a Queen without a king this is the king by belladama cigar so all of these beautiful beautiful cigars are absolutely amazing they are so enjoyable to smoke i absolutely love them um i wanted to do the robusto tonight because i, I this was the first one i tried and i just fell in love with it so i figured i might as well bring it to the show to tell you guys and explain why i love it so much so um i'm going to read a quick little description of the uh royal from bella cigars and i'm really excited about this so real quick let me just get into this uh the wrapper is a cameroon maduro the binder is dominican the filler is dominican uh creo 98 a uh pilto and a seco cubano and then the description reads as this and this is direct from their website so with descriptions like this you really can't beat a beautiful cigar like this so Grown in the richest Dominican soil and the finest Maduro wrapper available today. This Cameroon Maduro wrap is a deep, rich, dark leaf overflowing with complex flavor. Real Maduros of this quality are very rare in the ma on, the, in, on the marketplace. It is definitely a royal itself. So definitely check them out. Um, this is the 5x40. I just had to double check, make sure that I knew what I was talking about. This is the 5x40. A single uh, goes for $10.00. A five pack goes for $45, a pack of six and a tin is $55, and a pack of 25 is $225. Worth every penny. But don't let me just sell you on the idea without lighting it up. So we're going to go ahead and light this right up, and I'll be right back in just a second. So I wound up going with a cat's eye or V cut for this cigar. Um, the first time I smoked it, it had such an enjoyable draw on the cigar. Honestly, it did. Um, a a cat's eye or even a punch would be beautiful for this cigar. Uh, just enough of a nice draw that you don't feel as though you're really kind of like sucking hard on it. Really, really nice cigar with a really nice flavor profile. So 
right off the bat, I'm not getting a lot of pepper. Um, for as dark as this Maduro wrapper is, it doesn't have a lot of pepper right off the bat in the beginning of that first light. Very, very easy going profile. Um, a little bit of cocoa that I taste in the background. A slight little tiny hint of pepper in the background, but it's not really testing that pepper just quite yet. Um, really, really nice opener to this beautiful cigar. And as you can see, that is the wrapper right there. And you can see that wrapper has the same thing I do on my hat. Um, really, really nice handmade cigar. Really, really enjoyable. I really loved... Uh, the Royal, really nice cigar, and I just, I, I can't wait to just keep on smoking on this. So, I'm going to go ahead and just give this uh, up to its first third, and then we will go from there. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. So, I'm just getting past my first third right now. Uh, the ash is a little flaky, um, but still really, really solid. A um, lot of nice flavor combinations that I'm getting within this cigar. Um, the pepper has come up a little bit more, a little bit stronger, but still a really nice combination. Um, I get a nice subtle sweetness in there, a little bit of that cocoa and like a little bit of like a, it's almost like a sweet sugar um, that's kind of mixing with that as well along with a few earthy tones that I really, really am enjoying as well. Um, all in all, I mean, I, I, I really, really love these cigars, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, the ash does have a few flakes coming off of it, but I mean, other than that, I mean, ash is pretty solid on top of it. It's not cracking or breaking in any way. Um, I really, really enjoy these. And like I said, I mean, if you get the chance, I would definitely place a small order just to try them out. Um with Belladama, to be honest with you, because I really, really like these cigars. Um, so far, I've smoked the uh, the Royal, which is the Robusto, and then I've smoked the Barber Pole, the Queen, and both of them were absolutely fantastic cigars. Just the flavor profiles, um, the Barber Pole had its own unique flavors within it as well. Um, this weekend, I'm going to be lighting up the King to kind of go and just start my weekend off right and just kind of go from there. I'll be working Friday and Saturday at the cigar shop, so I will definitely be smoking a couple of these while I'm there. But I mean, it is they are just absolutely beautiful cigars and really, really well done. Um, the construction of these cigars, absolutely superb. Um, I've had no cracks, no flaking, no nothing. Everything has just gone so, so nice throughout the rest of the smoke. Um, but so far, the first third of this Royal Cigar has been absolutely nothing short of the Royal Treatment. So, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to my second third and see where it takes us from there. But I just, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They're absolutely beautiful, beautiful cigars. And you are out of your mind if you haven't tried any of these yet. So, definitely pick a few up. I'm going to smoke this down to my second third and we'll go from there. So, we'll see you guys in just a second. So I'm just getting past my second third. I did lose a little bit more ash than I thought, but I am getting past my second third. And I got to tell you, there's there's just something really nice about this cigar. Um, one thing that I can say that I really love about these cigars is that the pepper doesn't get any more intense at this point. Um, it's not even a very intense pepper type of taste. It has just enough spice to let you know that it's there. But it just kind of comes together with a nice creaminess, with the chocolate, the earthy tones, that little underlying sweetness that's in there. And even the creaminess is just, it's just so beautiful. Um, a lot of smoke that you wind up getting within this, it just sits on your tongue. You can taste everything. It's not too complicated. Really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cigar. All in all, I mean, I, I got to tell you, I'm getting more into finding smaller cigar brands that can compete with a lot of the big dogs that are out there. Um, this, to me, is a top-notch cigar. Uh, for $10 a stick, I mean, I think it should be more, I, honestly. I mean, I would honestly pay probably about $14 a stick for, for just the Robusto. Um 
really really nice flavor profile great construction a lot of great smoke on it I just really enjoy the flavor profile of this cigar and I mean to me I just think it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful cigar the darkness of that wrap um, the black with the red and the gold with the band you know it just it, it to me it's just a really really awesome cigar beautiful cigar great quality high quality cigar so definitely check out Belladama cigars like I said there will be a link in the description so definitely check them out um, I'm going to finish this up because, to be honest with you, it's just smooth sailing at this point. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up this cigar right now, take it down to my final third, probably even a little bit further than that. I've actually smoked it down to the nub. It was that good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish this thing up, and then we'll be right back with my final thoughts, and we'll see you then. So I'm letting the rest of the Royal just smolder in the ashtray. I smoked it all the way down to the nub. Um, i, I got to be honest with you. Uh, the Royal by Belladama Cigar is just absolutely a winner um, in, in my eyes. I mean, I don't just take my word for it. I want you guys to check them out as well. Um, to me, I think they're just a really, really high-quality cigar. Um, absolutely love the flavor profile. The construction is on point. Uh, I didn't have any problems with it other than just a few mislights in the very beginning. Um, other than that, I mean, the cigar itself just puts out so much flavor, so much smoke. It's just a really, really nice aroma to it. Um, the flavor profile is very unique in the sense of, it, it, for as dark as the Maduro wrapper is, it doesn't have a lot of spice. It gives you enough flavor around the spice to kind of help mellow it out. And to me, I think that that is really, really unique in one respect because a lot of dark cigars like that wind up going very pepper heavy and this one does not um, really really awesome cigar I hope that you guys get the chance to try them uh, like I said there will be a link in the description of this video so definitely go down into the description section of this video and check it out but all in all my rating for the Belladama the Royal uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.7 out of 5 I mean it is a really really great cigar um, one of the better ones that I've had, you know, in in a very long time. I think the last unique cigar that I had that I really, really enjoyed was the ones by Hennessy. Um, and this one, even though it's not a sweet tip, I, I feel as though the construction really competes with a lot of the bigger brand cigars. Um, and, and to me, I, I think that Belladama cigars deserves to have a really great following behind them. Um, I think that their cigars have a really nice flavor profile, the construction, the pull, the draw on the cigar is absolutely perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean you can sit there with a V-cut or a punch and not feel as though you're sucking a golf ball through a garden hose. Um, really really great construction of the cigar no cracking no issues no problems uh, I, I really really enjoyed it and I, I definitely wanted to bring them onto the show because as soon as I smoked the Royal that was my first one out of the Belladama series uh, I just fell in love and I think that they absolutely deserve a spot in the top with the big dogs so definitely go check them out don't just take my word for it smoke one yourself tell me what you think in the comments below if you do grab one and I hope to see you guys on the next cigar review video, which will probably be on Thursday. So, um, real quick, uh, just one last final shout out to everybody. Let me grab them all up again. Once again, uh, big shout out to Ice and Sticks, um, Clutch of Smoke, and Southern Outlaws, Outlaws and Cigars, um, for doing the giveaway to giving me this opportunity to smoke an amazing, amazing cigar. And of course, big shout out to Belladama's uh, Cigars for um, just putting out a really, really great product that I definitely stand behind. Um, I've been in contact with Belladama Cigars, and we're going to try and have them on the show in the smoking section. So um, be looking forward to that. And also, we're going to be doing a little bit of a change-up um, with the video schedule. If you haven't noticed, the last couple of weeks, uh, I took some time away from doing videos. Um, not for any particular reason other than I just have a lot going on right now, so uh, the cigar videos kind of took a back seat to everything. Um, but from now on, we're probably going to be streaming on most Tuesdays and Thursdays and probably continue with doing the lives, but i got to find a day for the lives. Um, so we're going to be switching some things up, but uh, this week I wanted to get right 
back into it and start the new streaming schedule for videos and everything. So um, look for the new cigar video on Thursday for what we're going to smoke next. And I will see you guys on the next one. So from the smoking section, I'm Sean. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And it's not too late. We still got a few weeks left until uh, actually you got maybe a week and a half left until we wind up doing the smoking section giveaway. So uh, definitely check in for that as well. So I will catch you guys later. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later. As always, stay blessed, stay smoking, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.